Hey, it's Mrs. Francis here, and in this video, we're going to memorize the patterns that occur in the unit circle. Now, the first thing that you have to know is what the values are in the first quadrant. And if you don't know that, please see my video on the left hand trick. You also have to recognize that the value of the cosine is the x part of the coordinate, the value of the sine is the y part of the coordinate. So if I asked you for the cosine of pi over 3, you would tell me a half. If I asked you for the sine of pi over 6, you would tell me a half. The tangent is the sine over the cosine. Now since all of these are just over 2, we can ignore the 2. And for pi over 6, the tangent would be, just using the numerator, the sine over the cosine, 1 over root 3. Root 2 over root 2 for pi over 4, and the tangent is root 3 over 1, or just root 3 for pi over 3. Now, all the coordinates are going to be the same in all four quadrants. The only thing that's going to change is whether or not they're positive or negative. There's an acronym that I like to use. All students take class to help us remember what's positive and what's negative. In the first quadrant, everything is positive. In the second quadrant, only the sine is positive. In the third quadrant, only the tangent is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only the cosine is positive. So let's write the coordinates. Now keep in mind that we're going to be matching our angles with the right reference angle. So it's the distance from the x-axis is our reference angle. So we have a 60 degree distance or pi over 3 reference angle here. And the reference angle for that in the second quadrant is right here. And the only thing that has changed is that the sine is actually positive and the cosine and the tangent have now become negative. In the third quadrant, only the tangent is going to be positive, and in the fourth quadrant, only the cosine is positive. Okay, let's write the angles now in terms of radians. All the reference angles that are blue, that are reference angles with pi over 6, are going to have a denominator of 6. All the reference angles for pi over 4 are going to have a denominator of 4. And all the reference angles that go with pi over 3 are going to have a denominator of 3. Now, in the first quadrant, we just have 1 pi in the numerator. And we're going to have pi in all the numerators, by the way. But the number that goes in the numerator in the second quadrant is going to be exactly 1 less than the denominator. So here we have 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, and 5 pi over 6. In the third quadrant, the numerator is going to be exactly 1 higher than the denominator. So we have 7 pi over 6, 5 pi over 4, and 4 pi over 3. And in the last quadrant, we're going to be 2 higher, 3 higher, and 5 higher. That's it, everybody. This is extremely important to know and understand and have memorized when you're in pre-calc and calculus. So good luck.